Hello and welcome back to Draft Josh. We are doing another podcast and this one is on Marvel. This is going to be about theories on Infinity War. So I'm going to be interviewing my co-hosts, Ethan and George, about Hello. their theories and basically working, making sure they're solid and questioning things that I don't think make sense. So we'll start off with Ethan's because he, he written on his bit of paper, which obviously you can't see, so you've got to imagine this, <laughs> it just says the words hat and theory. But that's the fourth one down. <laughs> I feel like we should start with hat theory. Because uh, that's what I want to know. Yeah, please be what is your theory. hat theory? Because so, me, me and George don't know about this. So the hat theory is, on every single like different Marvel film, when, when they need to be disguised, they wear a hat. Right? <laughs> yeah. And so the theory is, <laughs> why does a hat mask them? Wait, but they don't... W- can you give us an example? Yeah, can you so give us an example? So in Civil War, after like... Whoever bombed um, Black Panther. Lucky Bugs dad. wears a hat. Yeah, Captain America and Falcon both wear a hat in that sh- in the path. No one notices them. In the path. In the bar. With the go. And no one notices yeah. them. That's correct. Is there any other films that actually happens? Yeah. Scarlett Johansson wears a hat at one point, <laughs> and Samuel Jackson wears a hat at one point as well. Well, he's on the run, correct? Yeah. And then there is so that, the theory him. is: Does Doctor Strange put a spell on the hats? He listens to that, which is legit. <laughs> <laughs> Put a spell on the hat that sort of masks them. But obviously, we don't see that because we're watching it as through the camera that Doctor Strange just edited. So if other people look at them, <laughs> Dude, that's a lost space. Before. They look like a normal person because they put the hat on. But as soon as they take the hat off, people are like Captain America. I mean, you've got valid points because when yeah. they wear hats, nobody seems to notice who they are. Yeah. I mean, but... Scarlet Witch has worn a hat as well before. And no one realised. <laughs> but sorry, hat. what's this got to do with Infinity War? Because <laughs> uh... that was the question. What's the... <laughs> <laughs> I just in general Marvel theory, right? <laughs> right, okay. So that was nothing to do with this. I will leave it in for you. But right, let's go on to theory two. <laughs> theory two. So okay, just, l- okay, let's just open this up to, to theories about Marvel. Just theories of Marvel. <laughs> theory, theory, <laughs> theory two. This is just Marvel theories. Infinity War's blown out of the water now. Right, theory two, which was actually number one. <laughs> okay. It's called Sam Jackson's eye patch. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the theory behind this is, why does he wear an eye patch? Because his eyes mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> so my theory is that he wears the eye patch to become a different person. It's like the hat theory. <laughs> Just, so, it's got the eye, we should have called it eye patch theory. We have seen underneath the patch in Winter Soldier. Yeah, but he never yeah. takes it off. Yeah, no, he, he didn't. Did. He, le- he only left it. It's the same thing. No, but he doesn't take the whole He's got a mouldy eye. Do you want so so I'm, I'm going to have to put a cross on this one and say that you've already been debunked on this well, one. We're obviously going to find that more in obviously uh, Captain Marvel for that. Yeah. To be explained. So maybe we could pick that on back up. Because he'd be a different character then. Too, <laughs> he could be a scroll. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, right. <laughs> no, they don't agree with that. <laughs> Second theory. So, so theory one was decent. Yeah. Hat theory was good. The eye patch one was absolute baloney. Garbage. And now we're going on to theory two, but now it's actually three. Yeah. Um, Stanley's name backwards. Oh God. Is Anne List, and this is, <laughs> this is because is it actually? Well, yeah. Lee Snant. No, Lee Ant. It's his name backwards, and the okay. reason why I'm saying yeah, this pronounce is... Pronounce it, comment <laughs> Yeah, if you know how to pronounce it, comment below. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this is, in every film, you see Stanley's cameo. Correct. But you don't know what order his cameos are in. He's a watcher, though, Because technically, he? you don't know what order the films are in. They explain to him he's a watcher. Yeah, no, no, th- I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, he's a watcher, so the watchers of like, time manipulation and stuff. So Do the they? reason why it's Elas... <laughs> It's made backwards because he goes backwards in time and does <laughs> cameos from backwards to the beginning. So you know him in real life as Stan Lee, but because he's doing his cameos backwards, his time travel backwards, his it's... name becomes backwards. <laughs> Elas. It's way where actually I, I don't have a single idea what you're talking about. In the credits, this, this is a question for George because like he's Marvel master. In the credits, it says Stan Lee himself. Is Pretty Stan much. Lee actually in the cinematic universe as Stan Lee? Is Stan Lee a character he, in the Marvel universe? He explained in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 he was seen with two, uh, two or three of the Watchers and they actually confirmed that he actually played a Watcher which is someone who exists throughout time as someone who watches everything. 
Okay, and he's actually called Stanley in the film. <clears throat> That's... Um, I don't think in every every film he's called Stanley, but he's just he is Stanley. Okay. He's, he's played another character. He's loads of characters. Obviously, he's not just in the MCU. He's in all Marvel films, including the X Men. So that theory was. So we've got one good one. Um, and somehow the hat theory was good, but the the, how the and that. and the <laughs> eye patch theory were not good. Right. So be- before, yeah, let's just finish Ethan off, and then we'll go to George. <laughs> Right, theory four, which is, was now Can't actually five because Josh Foster was the hat theory, <laughs> yeah. is the um, Loki theory, where basically there's no actually superheroes in the whole of Marvel <laughs> and Loki plays every single one. <laughs> so, <he's>, uh, <laughs> so, Hi, are you just joining us? This is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, from Iron Man, that's not actually Iron Man, <laughs> That's Loki <laughs> as Iron Man, but everyone, no one, no one knows that. And obviously, Loki builds the Iron Man suit, and that's Loki. But why would Loki kill him? So you're it's saying this is all like a weird game which Loki's playing with himself? Yeah, it's basically Loki's everyone. Yeah, except I mean Thanos. that's that's never not been. So what do you mean except for Thanos? Because Thanos is Thanos. Loki why? plays all of Thanos' team. <laughs> basically, Loki's one key goal in the whole of Marvel universe is destroy the world. So basically, he becomes he becomes everyone, sets up this like elaborate Marvel universe to just get money, up, yeah, to lead up to Thanos. Then he then he has the three Thanos friends, which then Loki it's basically Loki helping the Black Order helping yeah. Thanos to get the Infinity Stone, and he does get the oh, Infinity so Stone. Oh, so he then, destroys the universe. Then Loki pretends he's dead and the last one, but obviously he's still alive because he's everyone else. And then when the Thanos clicks his gauntlet, it destroyed fifty percent of Loki. So now you only have 50% of power. <laughs> See, what you said makes no sense no, at all, but because, it makes complete sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would wipe out 50% of Loki. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I said to you. Yeah. But there's only one Loki, so it'll wipe out one person. What, well, happens? what happens if it gets the real Loki when he snaps his fingers? Well, he only has 50% power now. Who? He's lost 50% of his clones. <laughs> no, but what happens if... Because 99% of them are clones, so 1% is Loki. What happens if Loki dies? Well, then he would just take a clone's body. That's not how it works. How do you know that? Don't forget that's how it works. I've... <sighs> right, that was another garbage one. Plot's definitely too thick. So that. we've had one good theory. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, yet, we've got so. two more left. We're seven what? minutes in this video, Selena, guys. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just joining us now. <laughs> so, <laughs> theory six. Um, Iron Man suit all stones. That's what I read. What so, does that um, mean? So basically, Iron Man... It's gonna get all the infinity. St- this is a ser- like they've all been serious. It's gonna be good one. Basically, Iron Man is gonna get punched by Thanos in a new one in the stomach because his gloves all broken when he pulls it out. All the stones are stuck in Iron Man's suit, so his whole suit becomes the Infinity Gauntlet. The suit that could absorb all the stones. Yeah, there you go. So that feels <laughs> that feels great. <laughs> and then I put for the last one. <laughs> Chris Pratt theory, but I can't remember what it was. So, I, I guess cool. I guess that's gay. Um, <laughs> Do you know what does he does he summon loads of dinosaurs or something? No, there's a theory that um, his of the alter ego, which is um, Star Lord. No, the, what what's his character in uh, Jurassic World? Owen. Yeah, his alter ego Owen, which is also played by Loki. <laughs> <laughs> comes, comes, no, I don't know what I'm doing that one, but that's that's the um, serious theories that I had. Oh, okay. So now we're going to go over to George. Serious stuff. And, um, yeah, let's, let's say the serious stuff. I, I don't really have any questions for Ethan because I just didn't understand what we just sat through. But if you're joining us now, we're getting up to some serious theories. And now we're talking to George... I, I can't mix his name with Marvel. George Marvel Man... <laughs> Dravel. Just George. <laughs> yeah, Dravel Drosh. <laughs> right. <okay. laughs> you're the Dravel guy. So I think... I'm going to start off with talking about Captain Marvel. So she's been mentioned multiple times. Um, well, multiple times, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She's been mentioned, obviously, the end of Infinity War, she was paged by Nick Fury, I'm assuming, for help. Um, but there was a scene or a picture leaked. What well, leaked, but someone actually found. There was a, a moment in the beginning of the film when you see... Um, <clears throat> Ebony Moore and that dwarf. Yeah, um, in the in the in the and obviously the fight uh, with Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Wong, and the Hulk, or Bruce Banner. Um, and he's actually he's actually wearing a belt which looks significantly like Captain Marvel's outfit. Um, so it could have been something that they've encountered before. 
Um, or it may previously be someone called Marvel, who was actually someone before Captain Marvel existed. Was that the man? It was. A, it was a bloke. Yeah, yeah. He obviously had the same outfit, so they could have defeated him, and she took over the mantle. Um, which is quite interesting, really. So obviously, this is coming up. Obviously, next March, I think I filmed out. I will find oh, that's out. Still quite far away. A lot about her, which could be brilliant, based in nineteen, obviously nineteen eighties, nineties, with Nick Fury. Um, Rowan the Accuser, obviously, of the returning characters can be fantastic. But it's quite a good theory, really. If anyone obviously knows much more about it, comment below. Who's? Do you reckon that is something to do with the Captain Marvel family? With it's got to be really because the colours. It, that wouldn't be an the accident. Colours were so significant. It was. It was silly. And the little logo in the middle. And the yeah, logo as well. Yeah, like check like out the other... image. It should be all over Google now. To be fair, it will be here. It will be as, we'll, as, we'll, as we'll, we'll watching. We'll pop it on here. It'll be, um, it'll be popped up on the screen. If you can see it, probably you've got the red, the blue and the gold, which is obviously her outfit. Um, it's quite interesting. Uh, obviously, another theory. So that was theory number one from George, which was quite sensible. And um, yeah, it, it, it could it could be true. I'd be interested to see if that has anything to do with... And like Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel might have to try and get revenge. And take the bit of clothing back. <laughs> <laughs> so she could finish off her costume. Just walking around naked at the moment. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, <laughs> another theory is, is to do with Loki. You know, there's a lot of speculation saying Loki's still alive. Loki's actually dead. Cloned. Loki's cloned. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Thank you. Um, basically, Loki's a god. Okay, he's a god of mischief. He's not. He's not some guy you found on the street. He's a god. Okay, now obviously Thanos didn't attack when he did because Odin was still alive, who is a god. Um, now, obviously, Loki may not be Odin's biological son, but he is still, obviously, an Asgardian. Um, so, at the beginning of the film, when, obviously, Thanos encounters this Guardian ship, Loki's two different people. He, he He's someone who doesn't like Thor. He he, he he binds his dad. He hates him. He's, he's Lothra's son, who, obviously, is the ice giant. Um, and then, all of a sudden... He says the words, or to be have a Hulk. And then it's, it, we think it's used as a distraction. So in the scene where obviously the Hulk's fighting Thanos, and obviously Thanos beats him up, uh, Loki disappears. And then he comes back a completely different person. Yeah, because he he, he, they, they, they make a point of him walking back onto the scene. Correct. Like, you'd expect he would just still be there. Why Why did he go and fart off or out of the screen? <laughs> like, it, it just it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah it just doesn't make sense so elaborate on George's point um, we think that when Loki came back in he was somebody different he was he was someone different he, he's, he's an opposite as he was using which is quite quite really found really he was using his left hand instead of his right um, which is which I mean, it's so small but if you're right handed you don't use your left correct, hand for a dagger correct. You? you see in every film Avengers to Thor he uses his right hand for everything no I just point out but in most of the films he dual wields the daggers correct meaning but he could use he his throws with his right hand. hand and he leaves with his right hand okay thanks I forgot you um, and also he then as he, as he comes out from around the corner he then starts saying obviously he wants to be um, a guide for Earth and he's a different person he, he says he's Odin son he says to Thor that they're going to rise again, you know. So it's, it's not speculation saying that he was never there. Um, I've heard theories of saying he was inside the Hulk at the time. That's why the Hulk obviously never came out as Big Banner. Oh, um, that's, that's that's quite an interesting one, actually. There's loads of theories going out there, but obviously, what do you guys think? I, I honestly, I, I don't think Loki's dead. Because I think... Um, I I think Loki's quite a big key part in defeating Thanos. Uh, yeah, as, me too. As long as I, I know... Ant Man, and it's because I I think that I know this is jumping slightly away, but the reason Ant Man is I reckon Thanos wanted to kill Ant Man because it doesn't make sense that he wiped out the whole Ant Man like squad, yeah. Because it was they were knocking out it seemed to be fifty percent of each sort of thing, yeah. So when all of the Ant Man people died, I reckon he was purposely trying to kill them all because Thanos knew they're the only people who could make the technology to stop him, but because. Uh, Scott, is his name Scott? <coughs> Scott Lang, yeah. yeah. He was in the quantum realm by mistake trying to collect some dust or whatever they were doing. Collecting energy from the quantum realm, yeah. He didn't get wiped. So I reckon Captain Marvel is going to bring him back out. But well, then if he comes out and he was supposed to get wiped, he'll get wiped as soon as he comes out. Someone said that Captain Marvel could actually be inside the quantum realm at this time. I think that's why 
obviously she was safe. She's been in hiding since the nineteen obviously nineties. Yeah. Um, and also, if you look obviously in to Avengers four, there's p- pictures leaked of the first Avengers film, um, where you've got Captain America in his original outfit, but you've got Ant Man who was never actually there. Tony Stark, who looks incredibly older, um, and the Hulk as well, obviously CGI wearing a suit and stuff. Oh, yeah, because um, the time traveling, there's got to be a lot of time travel. got to be time travel. But obviously, they're going to be used where um, they're going to go back in time, collect the stones before Tony's got his hands on them. There's a bit where Loki's obviously being trapped on the uh, shield helicarrier, and obviously, Tony Stark in disguise to try and get him before that's, anyone else that's does. That's going to be so good. Obviously, Scepter's there at the time, so they're trying to get that. Um, and then you've got the casting for Avengers 4 they have actually cast Cassie Lang obviously plays Scott's daughter as a 16 year old obviously oh, in that's a the good last point. film she was less than 10 so obviously something's going to happen there so she could actually become someone who saves them She in the comics she does play a character because I'd, I'd imagine that she she's going to be just as smart as Scott because yeah and I don't know, I just imagine that's what they'll do. I mean, so she could be someone to obviously get her dead out of the quantum realm. Oh yeah, unless she goes mental. Something could happen. And that she makes her life goal to save her dad. Because do you, do you age in the quantum realm? Or? Not as much, no. Not as much. There's a certain point when nothing happens. It depends how far in you are. I think he went pretty far in, didn't he? He was, he was getting the energy, wasn't he? Yeah. He, yeah. he would have been quite far in. So I, I'm gonna because I've realised this is nearly 17 minutes long, so I'm gonna round up our Infinity War. Um, wait, wait, wait! wait I've one, one more thing from George. Just saying back to the uh, Loki theory. Um, someone one. actually, some someone actually put up uh, a video the other day, bit so certain that they had seen Loki in the background on the obviously outside of space. Um, we've actually debunked this as a bit of shit. Yeah, been floating thing. over. Um, it, it's 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 very difficult to see, but it is it's not a Loki. It is definitely a ship. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason for Stark he'd be walking in the background where they could see him. And why would he be just up there in space? There's no reason why he'd have his horns on and stuff. He doesn't need them, you know. And he hasn't got a scepter anymore, so he can't have a scepter. And it was coming from the back. It was coming bigger. It was coming over. So it was definitely part of a right. ship or a rock or something. Yeah, it was yeah. going bigger, and it went past the ship. As you can see, obviously in the film, you see a lot of obviously broken ship scattered around space. And obviously, Guardians get there. It's got to be that. Yeah. So it's obviously be debunking that basically. It, it, Sorry if you ever found that, but it right. just seems like Loki would be smart enough to get away from Thanos because Thanos yeah. would go, "Oh, what's he doing up there?" But the thing is, to Thanos, Loki died, so Loki could literally just be behind a little sheet because Thanos doesn't know behind a little sheet. Yeah, what, like behind a green screen, like blue tarpaulin sheets. Over Invisible clock, Mary Potter. Yeah. Oh, God, That's a new theory, but that'll be for the next. That'll be for the next <laughs> podcast. So um, yeah, we 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 don't believe that we saw Loki. We've 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 put it in slow motion. We've inverted the colors and stuff, and it Reminds just it, it just doesn't look like him. Doesn't even make sense. Why well, Thanos just like didn't double the resources instead? No, that is sort of <laughs> like. Yeah, he Where could have he, he could have snapped his fingers. He can have a raft. He could do what he wants. Oh yeah, sorry. He could have snapped his fingers, and there could have been eight donuts instead of four. Correct. And I just don't get all or eight ice lollies instead of one. But yeah, I'm gonna round this up. Thank you for listening to our second Thank you. podcast. Cheers. Subscribe. You got anything you want to add to the end, Ethan? No, my theories are probably more legit than George's, but we'll let you guys decide. <laughs> anything from you, George? Uh, like, subscribe, comment any questions you have, and we'll answer them as we can. Yeah, we'll do another. Podcast uh, I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear what you think, really. Yeah, pop all of your theories in the comments, and if if we get good <coughs> ones or stupid ones, they will be read out. We'll but yeah, them. thanks for watching. We'll discuss your theories, put them in the comments, and like the video. You got to let it go.